A portion of this video is sponsored by Kachava. One of my favorite ways of trying to stay healthy is getting my daily dose of vitamin D. The warm sun rays hit our skin, and the UV creates a precursor called cholecalciferol, which our bodies use to create the active form of vitamin D. Our bodies are amazing. Our bodies are our home. Before I get this workout started, I want to say thanks to Kachava for sponsoring this portion of this video. I've always been a huge proponent of superfoods, and Kachava is the ultimate daily super blend. It has a whole list of essentials, protein, greens, adaptogens, probiotics, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and more. I'm a pretty active on the go person in a very small space, so I really value a fast and easy way to get my morning started, especially early ones, with something that has everything I need to help me feel my best. Kachava is a nutrient-rich superfood blend with 85 superfoods, nutrients, and plant-based ingredients. It's filling, but it's not heavy, so it's perfect to start mornings for breakfast and for workouts. I get the chocolate flavor, and it's the best. It's so delicious, and it's so easy to use. Most health drinks don't taste very good, and I've tried a lot of them. Kachava, though, is an exception, and I think it's much easier to stick to a healthy habit when you actually enjoy it. So if you're interested, you got to try it for yourself. Thanks again to Kachava for sponsoring that portion of this video. Now, back to my regular content. Let's get this workout started. These are some of my secrets that I use to work out and try to stay fit while living and traveling in a truck camper. One is an adjustable kettlebell and two is weighted jump ropes. What's key for me about these is they're compact. They fit away nice and easily in my truck camper. They don't take up too much room. And between the weighted jump ropes and the kettlebell, I can just about get a really good full body workout. I like the adjustable kettlebell because you can turn it all the way up to 40 pounds and all the way down to eight pounds. You don't have to have five to 10 different kettlebell weights with you. I can work out my quads, my glutes, my biceps, my triceps, my core. And with the weighted jump ropes, I use the lighter one the lightest one for more of a cardio workout and the heavier ones for more muscle toning and strength. Have you ever used a weighted jump rope before? Yeah, <laughs> I overestimated my ability. It is pretty difficult. So between running, hiking, biking, paddle boarding, kettlebelling, jump roping, my yoga mat, and snowboarding, can't forget that. I try to get full body workouts as much as I can. Obviously, I'd love to have a full gym that I could just roll out wherever I go, but it's just not feasible in a truck camper. There's not enough room. It just goes to show you can work out wherever you are if you put your mind to it. No matter how challenging or easy the workout is, it's just important to get past the excuses, get your body into motion. I've got my own little gym space. Yippee! I found that one great motivator for me is working out with a great view. Look at this backdrop. Who wants to work out in the gym when you can look at this beautiful lake? Every person is different. It's impossible for me to know your medical history, exercise ability, and dietary restrictions. So if you like something that I personally do or say, you should always consult with your primary care physician, registered dietitian, and personal trainer before trying to implement any of it into your own life. I get a lot of questions on how I try to stay in shape. Key word there is try. I'm not someone that likes to project my lifestyle onto others, but I get asked all the time. It's a lot harder to burn calories than it is to take in calories. If I were trying to lose weight, I would need to be in a calorie deficit no matter what kind of diet I followed. I did this whole workout, including the run at the end, and I burned approximately 300 to 500 calories. It sounds like a lot, but I can easily ingest those calories with just a slice of pizza. And how many slices of pizza do most people eat? We can extrapolate weight maintenance to be as complicated as we want, but for a large majority of people, it isn't that complex. Our bodies were made to consume and burn off calories in order to survive. We are mammals. We used to scavenge, hunt, and travel. The human body was designed to move and be active not sit in office chairs, cars, or couches all day long. I try to follow simple mantras, take in less or the same as what I burn, and eat in moderation. 
No one's perfect, and obviously there are situations and medical conditions where these principles do not apply. But for me, these are the principles that I try to follow. Look at this water. I made it! Workout done. I ran approximately three miles. That's usually my goal. I'm like a hamster on a hamster wheel running for that block of cheese, except for me, it's pizza. I went ahead and switched into my bathing suit because after we make pizza, we're going to do some evening paddle boarding at sunset. But pizza is next on the agenda. Why am I eating pizza after working out? Well, it's all about the reward. It's what motivates me to work out. I think it's helpful to have something to look forward to after working out. It helps me stay on a routine, making it a habit. And I don't always eat pizza. It's all about moderation. Eat healthy 75% of the time. The other 25% of the time, I indulge in smaller quantities in food I really enjoy to eat. Let's check out my fridge. I'll show you what's inside. Go here. Let's talk a little bit about diet. I don't really follow a strict diet. I'd say 75% of the time I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Usually I have watermelon in there because two of my favorite foods to snack on are watermelon and carrots because they're high volume, low calorie foods. I do this because that way I can indulge and enjoy the more gluttonous foods that I love from time to time. It's all about moderation. I don't eat pizza all day every day. I have a small portion because I'm not willing to deprive myself from the food that makes me happy. Check out this guy right here. Bonus points if you know what kind of fruit this is. I don't follow any crazy diets because it seems like they change every week and I don't really believe in fad diets. A lot of people start diets and they eat something weird or they don't eat enough throughout the day and they get super hungry and then what ends up happening is they just binge eat on something terrible for them. I mean, if you think about it, somebody who continuously or normally eats a diet full of salt, sugar, and fats and they cut all of that out cold turkey, it's really hard to not go back to those and binge eat those if you're not somehow maintaining your hunger by eating something that keeps you full throughout the day for the majority of the time and then occasionally indulging in a smaller portion of something they enjoy. So many people think it's zero or 100%. You either don't diet at all or you have to be perfect 100% of the time, but it's just a recipe for disaster. And that's because salt sugars and fats are highly addictive and it's human nature to be easily addicted to something. I mean, we have these food scientists that are hired by these huge companies and they just sit in a lab all day and they try to concoct this perfect recipe of the most addictive food possible so that we can't stop eating them. So in order to beat that, I try to stay satiated with high volume, low calorie food most of the time and then enjoy those small bits of fun here and there. Ciao Bella, who wants to make some pizza? If you'd like to get the recipe on this perfect pizza, please let me know down below in the comments. For today's purposes, we're going to be making the pizza quickly because Hannah wants to eat the pizza quickly. This is probably offensive to Italian chefs, but you know, you gotta start somewhere. Look at that! Okay, I think I'm ready to mix up my sauce. I'm gonna use some San Marzano style whole tomatoes. Fresh basil. Then we're going to mush it with our hands. <laughs> Old fashioned style. This is risky business wearing white. Now we're going to wipe off my hands. So I look like I just beat up a tomato. Fresh mozzarella. Some fresh Parmesan. Need a little bit of olive oil for the crust so it doesn't burn. Olive oil in there. Pizza's ready to go in the pizza oven. I gotta get warmed up. I don't know, what do you think? How do you think it's gonna turn out? Pizza in. I can already smell it.
well, came out a little burnt. So didn't realize how hot that oven got. So we're gonna do one more take. We're gonna turn this down to low. Pizza take two. I'm hopeful that the second one, I got it under control now. Crispy crust, airy rim, melted cheese. I didn't even burn the basil. Would you eat this pizza? Just had to do it two times. Let's cut into this pizza and I'm gonna have a little sunset pizza and then we're gonna do some sunset paddle boarding. Tomorrow, I'll eat the leftovers. Bottom looks nice and brown, perfectly cooked. Let's try taste. Mm. Delicious golden crust, just like the sunset. What's your favorite type of pizza? Usually I like to add some pepper flakes and some homemade ranch, it's just the cherry on top. I don't have any of those right now because I'm out here eating on a rock. <laughs> This was actually the first pizza I've made with my new pizza oven. That was the new camping toy I was talking about. This one is gas fired instead of wood fired. I used to have a wood fired one and I really liked that one but it was a little bit harder to use and there's always fire restrictions. So I never felt safe or okay or allowed to use it. So I decided to switch to a gas powered one because stoves are often allowed and so far so good. I don't really taste a difference and it was way easier to control the temperature and the time cook and to set it all up. So A plus so far. And when I say gas, I mean propane. Okay, I'm gonna put my pizza away and let's head out to paddleboard. <laughs> The water was nice and warm, and I could have easily gone for a swim, but I really wanted to paddleboard out to this little island in the middle of the lake. Why not? I have to take advantage of these long summer days while I can. And why should I allow all the birds to enjoy the island all to themselves? Let's do it! What's up? Just getting some exercise! Water feels great, especially after taking a run. Getting closer. I'm gonna go hang out with all the birds over here. Just one bird brain with another. Look, I have some friends here. What's up, guys? What? I'm here for the party. Aww. I just wanted to play. I no fun. Of course, I come in right on a rock. Very beautiful out. Sun's going down. Get off this island before I absorb too much of this green guck. Let's get on here. Okay, heading back to my truck camper. Sometimes I don't really have words and you just have to enjoy the silence and the beautiful views that surround you. If you saw me zigzagging like a snake out there, it's because I accidentally broke off the fin on my paddle board. Who needs fins? Can't let those things get you down. Gotta have a great time anyways. I'm gonna get my paddle board put away. My broken paddle board put away. <laughs> That's okay, I can still use her in more shallow water now. I don't have to worry about hitting the fan off the bottom. I'm gonna look at it in the positive sense. I'm gonna try to find a camp spot on the way down to the ocean because I'm actually heading there this evening. It's about a 10 hour drive, so maybe I'll try to drive for a couple hours and then find a place to stop and then camp there for the night. And Tomorrow morning, I'll get up bright and early and make it to the ocean. I haven't been to the ocean in a while, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna clean up now. My poor paddle. 